Hercules. You got a bath and then you got a question about Pearl Jam. Pearl Jam. Probably uh, my favorite Pearl Jam song. I don't have a lot of favorite Pearl Jam songs. I think I have two songs of theirs on my on on about I think I have like 400 songs on my playlist here. Uh, State of Love and Trust off the single soundtrack. Probably one of the best songs out of the 90s that I just felt like should have been a fucking huge hit for them. You know, like that song is I can't stand Eddie Vedder as a person, as a singer, as a songwriter. I don't, I don't like his interviews. I don't like nothing about him. But he fucking brings it in that song. Um, the guitar work, the whole band just sounded great. And that's, I mean, it was just an awesome fucking song. You got the record 10 with them all holding hands up top, whatever. Um, I had a theory about what Pearl Jam um, is. I believe it to be... Um, I believe it to be semen, you know, um, it's not some hallucinogenic honey that some fucking 15 or 20 year old heard on the internet. Alive was a great song. You got to remember all of these songs were played so many fucking times. It's like Smells Like Teen Spirit. All these songs were played so many times. You kind of just get fucking sick of them after a while. Um, Rear View Mirror was a good song on the next record, I believe. And then I think after that it was Vitology. Um, I hate the song Better Man. Um, I hated the song Jeremy. I loved the song Black when I first heard it. Really good. You know, I felt like that was a really good song. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Once. The first song on the record, Once. Um, record time. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I liked, you know, I like some of their live stuff, you know. But um, I felt like the band just went into, the band, you know, I'm not into Led Zeppelin and Soundgarden and uh, Black Sabbath type music. I'm into like pop music, like the Beatles, the Beach Boys. I like pretty simple melodic. It doesn't have to be simple because the Beatles are guilty of sounding simple. And then you go to fucking learn the chords and you're like, oh, what the fuck is that? You know, I just like melodic, you know, doo-wop, Ramones, some of their shit, like just formulaic but memorable like I can listen to the song uh, Paparazzi by Lady Gaga and I hate her okay I hate you Lady Gaga um, I hear that song or Bad Romance it's like man that's just good that's just a good hook you know but uh, Pearl Jam State of Love and Trust I probably went on too long about it best guitar player by far of the 90s probably at least the top five greatest guitar players of all time Mike McCready does not get enough credit seeing just hearing, seeing those live videos, and fuck, man, I mean, that dude is a monster on the guitar, okay, I, I just like, I like his energy, I like his fucking hair, I like his t-shirts, I like his guitars, and I don't have that to say about anybody, Mike McCready is a fucking straight up G on the guitar, he's just, man, his pedals, his He's just got great energy, just just great energy, you know. He and he plays the guitar like he plays the fucking guitar like it needs to be played. You know what I mean? He plays the guitar like I feel like he plays the guitar like people want to have sex like that. You know what I mean? Like people have sex, but they're not really, you know, when you, you know, use the F word, they're not really F things. They're just making love. He plays the guitar like he's, you know. I'll leave you with that. Time for a bath. Got the fucking mutt out here. He's not happy. Obviously choked to death. Not really.